Are you visiting Istanbul soon? Well, here are 50 amazing things you shouldn't miss during your trip, from places to visit, hidden gems, amazing experiences, and most dry foods. One of the most iconic landmarks, not just in Istanbul, but in all of Turkey, this ancient Byzantine cathedral turned into a mosque offers an incredible glimpse into the city's rich history with stunning mosaics and intricate architecture that will leave you amazed. Explore Sultan Ahmed Mosque, also known as the Blue Mosque, where we can admire its outstanding interior with nearly 20,000 ethnic tiles in turquoise color. It's located just across Hagia Sophia and next to the Hippodrome. Buy your Istanbul card. It will make much easier using the public transportation in Istanbul, which is very convenient and inexpensive. Remember that with this card, you can use literally every sort of public transportation, from metros, trams, funiculars, cable cars, ferries, and even public toilets. If you're a foodie traveler, without a doubt, you should join a foodie tour in Kadikoy. This is the best way to learn more about some Turkish flavors, ingredients, history, and much more. And of course, if you're interested in this specific activity, you can also contact us through our travel agency reminder tour. Wander around Topkapi Palace, the place that for almost 400 years served as the official residence and administrative center of the Ottoman Empire and the dynasty. It's also located in the Old Peninsula next to Hagia Sophia. Discover the Basilica Cistern, built in the 6th century by the Byzantine Emperor Justinian I. Istanbul is home to many Byzantine cisterns, but the most emblematic one is this one, and was used to store and supply water to the great palace and nearby buildings. Located just next to the Blue Mosque, this is one of the many places we can visit for free in the city. Here once the Hippodrome of Constantinople was standing, but now we can only find three of its original structures. For example, the Serpent Column, the Obelisk of Theodosius, and the Walled Obelisk which used to be in the center of the Hippodrome. Explore the pedestrian Istiklal Avenue for modern shopping, where we can also find a good variety of restaurants and cafes. Try a traditional Turkish breakfast, where you can try specialties like menemen, burek, gözleme, cheese platters, and many other traditional things. Plus, it's one of the best ways to start an incredible day in Istanbul. Take a tour at the Dolmabahce Palace, one of the most luxurious and impressive palaces in the city. It is located on the shores of the Bosphorus. For this reason, the views it offers are splendid. Istanbul is a city that is located in two continents, Europe and Asia. And what better way to experience that than by taking a boat tour of the Bosphorus Strait? The tour will offer you a stunning view of the city's iconic landmarks and it's a great way to see Istanbul from a different perspective. You can either take the public ferries for less than $7 per person or for a more intimate and unique experience, you can also rent a private yacht. If you're interested in this last option, you can contact us for prices at ReminderTour.com. Visit the Suleimaniye Mosque, built in the 16th century under the orders of one of the most important sultans of the Ottoman Empire, Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. It is located on the third hill of the city, that is why it is visible from almost every point in areas near the Golden Horn. Here you can also visit the tombs of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent and his wife, Hurrem Sultan. Have a kebab at a local restaurant, one of the most popular and tasty foods of Turkey. There are plenty of varieties of kebabs, 
but three of my favorite are Jack Kebab, Iskender Kebab, and Tepsi Kebab. Visit the Grand Bazaar, one of the largest and oldest cover bazaars in the world. It was built in 1456 and here you'll be able to visit around 4,000 shops selling different things from Turkish lambs, rocks and any sort of souvenirs including clothes and many other items. Walk along the Bosphorus in Urtaköy and enjoy the fascinating views we can have from the mosque and the Bosphorus Bridge connecting both continents. My favorite time of the day to visit this specific place is right before sunset and night, when the mosque and bridge are lit up. Visit the Maiden's Tower, also known in Turkish as Kuz Kulesi, located on a small islet near the shores of Uskudar on the Asian side of Istanbul, and is probably one of my favorite places to sit during sunset. It's a very lively area where you can sit somewhere along the coast in Uskudar and have a tea while watching the tower. Or, if you want to visit its interior, you can also take some boats from Galata Port or Uskudar area. Enjoy a whirling dervish ceremony performed by the Meblevi Order of Sufism. Visitors can attend a ceremony in Istanbul and witness the beautiful and mesmerizing dance of the dervishes, accompanied by live music. Enjoy aerial views of Istanbul from one of the most iconic places in the city. Yes, the Galata Tower, built by a Genoese colony in the 14th century during the Byzantine era. Take a ferry ride to the Princess Islands on the Sea of Marmara. We highly suggest Burgasada for a more local and authentic environment. Explore the Spice Bazaar, just as the Grand Bazaar, this is another historical bazaar in the Old Peninsula. And here, we can find any sort of spices, teas, and Turkish delights. But here is a warning, be ready because you want to taste everything. Enjoy Turkish coffee, a very popular beverage in the country which is prepared in small coffee pot named Jezve and served with a glass of water to clean your palate and Turkish delights. Its special preparation, brewing techniques, and rich communal culture made it worthy of being inscribed into UNESCO's Intangible Cultural Heritage List in 2013, making it one of the most important cultural heritage of Turkey. Taste Turkish Delight, also known in Turkish as Lokum, and the best place in Istanbul for this Turkish delight is Hacibekir. This is a shop that is very, very traditional and has been confectioned in Lokum since 1777. Here you're not just buying quality and flavor, but you're also buying history. Amehane is a place where you can enjoy delicious food like the ones known as meze, live music and traditional drinks like raku. It's a great place to experience the lively atmosphere of the country and connect with locals over a class of raku. No trip to Turkey is complete without trying this traditional dessert and of course our favorite place for some great quality baklava is Karaköy Gülolu, loved by locals and tourists alike. Enjoy Turkish tea, in Turkish known as chai, and if you want to be like a real local, have a small glass of tea right after every meal at a restaurant. Visit the Istanbul Archaeology Museums, a complex of three museums. The Archaeological Museum, the Museum of Ancient Oriental Works, and the Tile Kiosk Museum. You can visit all of them for the same price. If you don't have the time to visit them all, we highly suggest a visit to the Archaeological Museum where we can admire beautiful artifacts from different times and civilizations in the region. Try Simit, a bread with a crunchy outer layer that is coated in sesame seeds and a soft and chewy interior. 
It is typically eaten for breakfast or just as a snack. The bread is perfect for sharing with friends or enjoying on the go. Simit is a beloved and iconic food in Turkish culture, and it's not uncommon to see street vendors selling them from their carts. Attend a football match. Remember that Turks are well known for its love for football, and they know how to celebrate and support their favorite clubs. Explore Palat and Fener. Here you can explore two of the most beautiful and colorful neighborhoods in Istanbul, where you can find churches, synagogues, and mosques all in one same place. Eat Palukekmek in Karaköy, another popular Turkish street food that it's a must try for any seafood lover. The dish consists on a grilled or fried fish served on a warm bread with fresh vegetables and then is drizzled with lemon juice. The combination of crispy bread, fresh fish, veggies, and lemon creates a delicious and satisfying taste that's hard to resist. Visit Emirgan Park, located in Sarıyer district, and this is a must-visit place, especially during the Tulip Festival, which takes place every year in April. Eat Lahmacun. This is another popular street food that you should try, and this is one of my favorites. The dish consists on a thin, crispy flatbread that is topped with a savory mixture of mincemeat, vegetables, herbs, and of course, spices. The toppings are then baked until the flatbread is crispy and the meat is cooked to perfection. Once done, the lahmacun is typically served with fresh herbs, lettuce, and a squeeze of lemon juice. Experience the nightlife in places like Kadiköy, Besiktas, Karaköy, or Nevisa the Street. Many young Turks love hanging out with friends, especially on weekends. You won't find any restriction if you want to enjoy some drinks or cocktails with your friends. Take a two and a half hour boat trip to Anadolu Kavu, one of the last stops on the Bosphorus close to the Black Sea. It's also famous for its good seafood restaurants, Yoros Castle, and of course the incredible views of the Bosphorus Strait, the third bridge connecting both continents and the Black Sea. Explore the Chora Church, a place with a long history that dates back to the 4th century, making it one of the oldest monuments in the city. Some of the most beautiful and impressive Byzantine mosaics and frescoes are here. Participate in a Turkish bath experience, also known as Hammam. Here visitors can experience the traditional practice of being scrubbed and washed by an attendant, known as Telak, and relax in the hot stream room. It's a great way to relax after a long day of sightseeing. Visit the Rumeli Fortress, located by the shores of the narrowest part of the Bosphorus Strait. It offers us stunning views of the second bridge that connects the two continents. This fortress was key to the conquest of Constantinople by the Ottomans, and it was built in 1452, in the period of just four months. Drink Iran, another very traditional drink made of yogurt, water, and salt, that goes excellent with mostly any Turkish foods like kebabs, lahmacun, and many others. But I'm not gonna lie, it is either loved or hated. I personally love it. How about you? Visit Patat Street, one of the most chic areas of Istanbul where we can find nice shops, restaurants, and cafes. This is also a very, very local area on the Asian side, so you'll be able to experience some local life here. Belerbeyi Palace. Visit this 19th century Ottoman palace by the shores of the Bosphorus on the Asian side of the city. It's located just below the Bosphorus Bridge, so the views from this point, especially by sunset, are incredible. Experience the local side of Istanbul in this neighborhood on the Asian side of the city. The place has a great ambience, plenty of cafes and boutique-type restaurants. 
and it's also by the Bosphorus. This neighborhood is also every photographer's dream. Visit a local market, known in Turkish as Pazar, will surely give you a glimpse into the heart of Turkish culture. Visiting a local market is a unique and exciting way to experience the culture, customs, and traditions of the country, plus its true feast for the senses, with the sights, sounds, and smells of the markets. Go to a rooftop bar or restaurant. Let's remember that Istanbul is a city known for its stunning architecture, rich history, and beautiful views. And one of the best ways to take in all of these elements is by visiting one of the city's many rooftop terraces. Interact with the cats of Istanbul, who are the real owners of the city, and the monuments. These furry friends are super chill and are always happy to receive some petting and love from people. Even if you want, you can also buy some treats for them. Enjoy a unique pide. Enjoy this delicious pide at Kuvelulu Pide Gizzi, the only place in Istanbul that still uses a traditional oven dating back to the Ottoman times to cook their famous pide, which is loved by locals and this is a real hidden gem. Visit the luxury neighborhood of Bebek, another place next to the Bosphorus and one of the most expensive ones in the city. You can be there by walking along the coast. The walk through this area is without a doubt one of my favorites. Enjoy some of the most fabulous views from Otak Tepe Park, where we can have views of the second bridge of the Bosphorus the Strait and the European side of the city. Visit Galataport for some outstanding views of the Bosphorus, especially by sunset. This place is where the cruise ships coming from the Mediterranean dock. We can also find plenty of restaurants, shops and cafes. Enjoy Salep, a unique beverage made of orchid and is one of the most delicious winter beverage in the country. Visit Pierlotti Hill, a place commonly visited by Istanbulites since the 18th century. Enjoy the stunning views of the famous Golden Horn, just as the French writer Pierlotti did while writing his novel Asiyade. Let us know in comments below how many of these places are your favorite to visit. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every week. See you next time. Bye-bye.